Hi everybody, it's Jenny from Norman S. Wright. So let's continue to follow the airflow through the ductwork. The next component the air is gonna see is probably the VAV boxes. So let's talk about VAV boxes and how they work. VAV stands for variable air volume, and the system does basically just that. It varies the volume throughout the building to maintain comfort as the building conditions change, such as when an empty conference room becomes full. When the room is empty, there's no load in the space, so it doesn't take much air volume to maintain the comfortable temperature, but when the conference room fills up, it requires more airflow. People are approximately the equivalent of a 100-watt light bulb. So when you put 10 people in the conference room, you have 1,000 watts more heat in the room, and you need more air to maintain a comfortable temperature in the space. So let's move this out of the way and talk about VAV boxes. The VAV box is what actually varies the airflow into the space. The single duct box is the simplest and most common VAV box. There are a couple other types of VAV boxes, such as dual duct and fan-powered boxes, but I'll discuss them in future videos. The basic operation of these boxes is the same as the single duct box. The casing of a single duct box consists of an inlet, which is typically round, mounted in a square or rectangular casing. The supply air goes in the inlet and out the discharge to the diffusers or grills in the room. So let me make a little room and let's talk about how it all works together. Inside the inlet is a damper that moves open and closed around a pivot point to control how much air can go through the box. The damper is mounted on a shaft and that goes into a control box. At the end of the shaft, inside the control box, there's an actuator. The actuator is a motor that rotates the shaft to open and close the damper. Connected to the actuator, usually mounted on it these days, is a controller, which is the brains of the VAV box. Most controllers today are digital or DDC controls, although you'll see some analog and pneumatic still around. Connected to the controller is a thermostat that would be located on the wall in the space where the VAV box is supplying. VAV boxes will usually control a zone made up of several offices or spaces. So let's draw a line here. All of this is above the ceiling and the thermostat's in the space. All these components work together to maintain the temperature that the thermostat is set to. So let's say the thermostat set point is 75 degrees, but because all those people came into the conference room, the thermostat is reading 78 degrees in the space. The temperature and set point is sent to the controller, which basically says it's too hot in here. That sends a signal to the actuator to open to provide more airflow, and that turns the damper shaft, which turns the damper open and allows more airflow into the space. This control loop happens continuously throughout the day to maintain comfort in the room. So why is this good? Well, let's look at a whole building. Say you have a building with several different zones, and each zone has a VAV box supplying it. So let's draw our VAV boxes. And now each zone also has a different number of people working in them, so let's put some people in those spaces. Because there are more people in some areas, like this one, the VAV box may need to turn up and provide more airflow. In these offices with two people, you may need more airflow there as well, but in this empty office, the VAV box can turn down to minimum because there's no reason to provide extra cooling in there. So VAV boxes provide comfort control into individual zones. By doing this, it increases the comfort of the building while reducing the energy use of it. So that's the basics of VAV boxes and how they work and how they fit into the system. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel, and thanks for watching.